Hey gems, what's up? Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. Uh, this is your timeless reading. However, for those that like to know, I am recording it at the beginning of May 2023. But I do trust that when you come to this reading, uh, you will find something that resonates with you. So if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Um, if at any time this reading does resonate for you, go ahead and hit the like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. Uh, there's a link in the description box that will take you to both of my websites. Uh, right now, everything is 20% off on both sites. Uh, the code is Taurus when you check out. So if you're interested or you want to read uh, client reviews, you can check that out. Let's get started with my blessing and prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you. Ooh. Ten of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Father God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Gemini in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what soul lessons and karmic cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, you need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Gemini, there's this energy, forgive me, there's this energy of, it's like something that you've been working really hard at, right? And, and now you feel like it's done, it's over. And, I, and I'm getting this message of like, don't give up faith, don't give up hopes. You know, it, there's always going to be the, these moments where it looks like we're taking a step back or that we're failing or that we're not going to be able to achieve what we want to achieve. Um, and those are lies. Those are illusions. And they're put there to try to stop you from figuring out just how strong you are and what God is capable of. So you have to keep, you know, just keep persevering as hard as that sounds. I know that it's difficult, especially when you're in those moments of darkness and, and, and trial, but it's truly a testament to your faith and, and your strength. Okay. We have big picture thinking. Yes. Pleiades, uh, energy, visionary, inspired ideas. So you may sometimes find yourself getting lost and, 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 and honing in on something too closely and so you're unable to find a way out. Spirit is saying, look at the bigger picture, okay? There are some dreams and ideas that have been coming to you recently from the divine, trying to give you clues and answers uh, in regards to this current situation that you seem to be having difficulty with. For Gemini, please. Lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. Yeah, and then you have earth school. Life lessons, soul growth, study, and higher learning. So we're here, right? We're here to, to learn lessons for our soul to ascend. And we keep coming back and we repeat these karmic cycles every life until we learn to break them, until we learn to de detach from them and ascend higher. And I feel like what Spirit is trying to tell you here is you've done this before. All of this feels familiar to you because you've done it before, right? And you can change the narrative. You can. You have the power. You have karmic relationships on the bottom. Yeah, you're going through a lot of karma right now. I feel like you're trying. You're finally figuring out which connections were karmic, um, or what you're learning from them. Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict. Through pain and conflict, that's how we grow. That's how we become conditioned. We become purified. Um, so don't yet throw in the towel and feel defeated, right? I know that it's easier said than done. I've been, I've been at the bottom of the barrel. I've been at rock, you know, and I'm not saying that you're at the bottom of the barrel, but I'm telling you that I've I've been at my lowest of lows. And I know how in any point of darkness, at any point on your journey, it can feel like I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this. And it can be exhausting. But spirit is is telling you, look, you're just on an ascension right now. 
recognize the differences, recognize the polarity and make the decision. What are you going to learn from it? What can you take from it? And what's the best direction for your highest growth? All right, you have the nine of pentacles as a current energy. Very independent energy. Yep. In the past, you have transformation, Scorpio energy here. Ooh. You have the king of earth as your energy and the seven of earth as the outside energy. The six of swords is your challenge. And then fortune's wheel, the wheel of fortune. On the bottom, yeah, there are karmic cycles that are closing. That's why you have the wheel of fortune here. Um, on the bottom, you have the ace of cups. Temptation which is the devil, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords, Strength, and the Four of Water, which is the Four of Cups. There's a love that has been lost to the devil. And this could be through addiction. This could be through whatever it is, however it, you know, relates to you. There's, um, there was a beginning in love or there was a self love that was devoured here by temptation. But, 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 because we have karma here, what's happening here is the truth is being revealed here with the Ace of Swords and the Strength card. Okay. And so now you're starting to contemplate and see things differently and figure out a way to take action on something that may have looked as though it was going to be a loss, right? It might not be a total loss. You might still be able to salvage something. It, it might look differently than what you had originally wanted, but God is going to give you what you need, not what you want. All right, so we have the nine of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Lovers, that's you, and the World. So there's some type of conflict about being single, or there's some type of conflict about somebody being too independent or overindulging, yeah, too prideful here. Prideful or overindulging in something, and it, it, it caused competition or conflict here. And then in, you have soulmate energy. So there could be some type of conflict between you and your partner, between you and your soulmate, right? Maybe one of you wanted to separate, and the other one was like, no, we're not separating. Transformation in the past. So something, something definitely did change or come to an end here. The Nine of Cups. Your perception, your dreams, what you desired out of life changed. They grew. Either yours or the other person. Somebody's wishes and dreams and the way they viewed life, it changed. Yeah, judgment. The sun, something was revealed and it's, it's changing a situation. Like somebody had a light bulb moment and it was through this transformation it was through this ending this this ending that was really a new beginning right it was higher learning here it's almost like their whole vision of what they wanted out of life shifted like oh i'm doing this wrong yeah the sun the sun god made something, like appeared something or showed something to you. You're showing up as the king of earth. Very determined. Because you're looking at something here.
when I look in the eyes of this, this King of Earth Gemini, it's like, there's something, it's almost like regret, like, uh, like sadness, like, oh, I can't believe that that's, you know, tell me about this King of Earth. Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like I got to let it go. But I got to let it go with love. Yeah, Five of Cups. There's sadness about an ending, but it's almost like a deep understanding. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. You look at something or think of something from a distance, Gemini. Okay, yeah, but it's, it's also like a knowing because you have the Seven of Wands, the King of Wands. There's whatever you're thinking about or whoever this is it's like I have to let you, I have to let you go with love I gotta go somewhere else I'm transitioning outside energy is the seven of pentacles king of cups King of Swords, wow, and the Queen of Swords. You're, so the, you could be dealing with another air sign or a water sign, okay? But this outside energy towards you, they're waiting for something. They're, they're with the Seven of Pentacles, they're waiting for something to be made right, okay? And I feel like neither of you are really expressing your emotions to each other, whoever this is. It's just like very serious conversation. And then the emotions are just kind of on the outside, right? We're not going to address those right now. What, what happens with this? What's coming in with this King of Cups, King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords? The Nine of Wands, the world, yeah, and the Five of Swords. I was going to say, somebody feels like they can't make a move forward. Somebody wants to fight for something, but it, it feels as if it's closed off, right? Again, love you from a distance. This person looks at you and is like, okay, it's not going to work. We're not going to be able to work through this because you're giving off this energy of you're just not, you're just not giving me what I need. I almost feel like there's that longing in the eyes of the king of pentacles where you wish that it could be something different but you're you're recognizing that you may need to let go and walk away five of swords the challenge is the six of swords interesting the challenge is letting go it's moving out of a toxic cycle it's releasing something that wasn't meant for you and sailing and setting sail clarify please Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. So this could be something to do with family, right? Mother wounds could be showing up here with the Queen of Pentacles. But again, the struggle is a ship, a relationship that is worth working on and investing. Having two people work on simultaneously to restore balance and invest in the same relationship. I feel as though you were trying to transition a connection or a situation to that point and it wasn't, it's not happening. The five of swords and the six of swords, somebody, whatever they're communicating, even if it's just a manifestation or a prayer, it's not being received because there's still something with this five of swords that is not in alignment. There's still deceit there. Yeah. Ace of swords. It's something still isn't the truth. Somebody isn't, you're not able to move in that direction because it's not aligned with you at this time. Take it how it resonates, but that's how it's showing up. Clarify the fortunes wheel, please. Yeah. Because there's, you're in the middle of closing something out. What's with this? Closing messages, please. Temperance. King of Pentacles. Okay, so that's you. The Six of Wands and the High Priestess. 
So there's a transformation. There's a transformation that's taking place. There's peace that needs to be restored to some type of, um, some about stability here. It doesn't have to be just money. It could just be mental, emotional stability, but there's some type of peace that needs to be, that needs to happen first. I feel like it's peace and stability and success, like discipline within self needs to happen first. Clarify, please. Fortune's wheel, temperance, king of pentacles, six of wands. What is this for? Closing messages. What's coming in with it? The knight of wands. The four of wands. See, but it's conflict. Because it's not time yet. You have to be patient. It's not time yet. If you keep trying to go towards a karmic relationship, you're going to keep running into pauses. It still has karma in it because there's still immaturity. There's still conflict, right? There's lessons and, and truths that haven't been expressed. There's still low vibrational energy here with the nine of swords. And so it can't, it can't blend well. It can't become aligned until both people do the work to clear out space, to clear out blockages that are within, darkness that is within. All right, Gemini, I'm sending you much love.